Hi, I'm Hazel, and today we're looking at the coolest new crafted items coming in 8.2. So each of the gathering professions are getting a new material. Osmonite is our new ore, dredged leather is our skin, seaweave is the new cloth, and zin and thid is the new herb. All of these things will be found in Najatar and probably Mechagon. On the PTR, I was getting seaweave cloth drops out there, but not seeing any zin and thid herbs, so we'll see. All of the typical gear crafting professions will be able to make new, higher item level versions of gear. There's Gilded Gear at 410, Reinforced at 425, and Banded Gear at 440. There will also be new Notorious Starter PvP gear starting at 370. The models don't seem to be new, I don't think, so we're just going to breeze right through them. Another fun fact is all professions are seeing a 25 point bump to the skill cap with a new cap of 175. If you thought you were done leveling, now you're not. Let's kick things off with enchanting. There's a new tier of stat to ring enchants called Accord of whatever stat you want. We've also got some new weapon enchants. Force Multiplier is a strength or agility proc, hopefully depending on your spec and not just randomly picking one. While that's up, your moves will sometimes proc 100 of your highest secondary stat, stacking up to five times. Basically, hit harder, uh, hooray. Machinist Brilliance is the same thing, just with an intellect proc, which makes you wonder why strength and agility have to share. Naga Hide is, again, a strength or agi proc, but instead of the stacking secondaries, it just gives you a flat 15k absorb shield. And finally, Oceanic Restoration is an int proc with 500 mana per second coming to you while it runs. One might even say 2500 MP5. For alchemy, we've got tiers of alchemist stones to match the crafted gear item level bumps. There's also a fresh batch of primary stat potions and flasks with a new cauldron to match. We're also getting some new, more specific potions. Wild Mending gives your heals a chance to heal an extra flat amount. Unbridled Fury gives your attacks a chance to damage an extra flat amount with a spicy little bit of a fireball. Focused Resolve marks your target, giving you a 20% increased chance to crit, but only as long as you only damage that target. Last, Empowered Proximity increases your primary stat based on how many enemies are within 8 yards of you, up to a max of 1800. I initially misunderstood and thought it was capped at 1800 nearby enemies, but based on how graphics card melting that would be, they probably mean 1800 stat, so like, 5 enemies. For jewel crafting, you can prospect the new ore, make higher item level rings, gems, just more of the same. There is a new straddling gem, which gives 5% movement speed up from the 3% of the straddling viridium, but since they're still unique equipped, it's not that exciting. I'd like to be able to use a ton of them in a mount running set of gear, but we can't have everything. For inscription, we're getting new contracts for the Ancoan and Unshackled, as well as the Rust Bolt Resistance to help you grind those new 8.2 reps. There's also new Vantis runes and crafted offhands, and that's it. For tailoring, on top of the obvious gear upgrades, there are some mount items. The Seabreeze Saddle Blanket is not mount equipment, even if it sounds like it should be. Like the Blood Totem Saddle Blanket, the Seabreeze one is vanity only and doesn't actually do anything. This is for roleplayers, or for messing with your friends by trying to convince them that they need one. In more useful mount stuff is the Saddle Chute, which is the Parachute Mount Equipment. I feel like competing with water walking means that this one's going to be less popular, but maybe I'm biased because I play a priest and already have a slow fall. Mount equipment works like gems, so there's no duration once you've equipped it, but if you put a different one on, the first one is destroyed. Speaking of mount equipment, leather working is getting the Comfortable Rider's Barding. This one prevents you from being dazed while mounted. Assuming that you can give up water walking, this one might be extra valuable while leveling. Mount equipment will not stack with the herbing mounts though, so if you want to be a daze proof flower robot, you will still need the consumable barding. Leather workers can also make dredged leather bladders, which are a component of one blacksmithing pattern in particular. Speaking of blacksmiths, of course they get new gear, but they also get my favorite of the mount equipment, the water walking shoes. Those will need those leather working bladders. There is, however, kind of a flaw in the market for these. Anyone who had a water strider gets free water shoes just mailed to them and all of their alts, and can just pick up more for themselves from the angler's rep for 40 gold. The crafted ones are just for those who never did get themselves a water bug. Blacksmiths can also craft the Monolite Reinforced Chassis, which is half of a new mount. The other half is made by engineers, which we'll look at in a sec. Over in engineering, there's updated goggles and gear. New and exciting is the Blingtron 7000. Like his ancestors, he'll offer a daily quest for some junk mostly and fight with other Blingtrons. There's also a supercharged engine, which you can combine with that blacksmith crafted chassis to make the Jewelag mount. I don't know how to pronounce this, and let's be honest, neither do you. I doubt whoever invented the name knows. It's probably some kind of practical joke. It's a cool mount though. Our last crafting profession is cooking, which would have gotten its own video, except that there's not much here. There's better stat food and better feasts. Some of those use Mechagon Tinker parts as mats, which are really easy to get, so that's nice. 
There's also Mecha Bites. The recipe for that is almost certainly on Mechagon somewhere, and I have no idea what they do. Based on how cheap these will be to make, it's probably a random effect that'll be equal parts fun and dumb. Can't wait. So that's what we'll be crafting in 8.2. It is still PTR, so more things could be on the way, but this is a pretty comprehensive update to professions. Thanks so much for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.